Hi everyone, let's be honest, who actually needs 3D models? What can you do with them? Where you create them? Is it complicated? Is it expensive? And most importantly, can I handle it if I have no experience at all? The truth is, uh, it's much simpler than it seems. 3D models are game characters, movie effects, products in online stores. And you can even 3D print your favorite figure or object right at home. In this video, I'll show you how to turn simple image into a fully animated 3D model step by step. Mesh AI allows you to create a 3D model even if it's a very first try. Not long ago this process was complicated and time-consuming, but not anymore. With Mesh AI everything takes just a few minutes. On the Mesh website you immediately see several options for creating a 3D model. Mesh AI can even generate a model from a plain text. You can write a prompt, uh, for example, with uh, chat uh, GPT and get a ready model about a minute. But today I'll take a different route. In my previous video I created a family Android and now I want to keep working with her. So I select uh, image to 3D and upload her picture to bring the character to life. I press generate. One generation cost 10 credits. I'm using a pro plane, it's $20 per month and gives me 1000 credits. There's also a free plane, but with a limitation. On the right, I can see the generation process. Once it's finished, Meshi gives me four different versions on my model. I can rotate them, look at every angle, check the details cloth, cables, eyes, even surface texture of the metal parts. And then I pick uh, the version that looks uh, the closest to my original design. Now let's move on to texturing. This costs 10 credits and takes about a minute. I select generate texture, press confirm and in about a minute the character looks amazing. Then I hit apply to model and I get the updated texture without issues. Perfect. Metallic reflections and fabric textures and fine details all appear. If there are defects like spots or broken areas, I open texture edit. I select the brush tool, paint over the damaged part and press smart healing. This automatically fixes the highlighted area. Then I hit apply to model and I get the updated texture without issues. Perfect. At the top left, the icons to check topology, the face count and vertex count of the model. If you're making a model for games, it's important to keep polygon count as low as possible for performance. To optimize, I go to the Remesh tab. Here you can set the poly count manually or let Mesh decide automatically. There are two topology types, quad or triangle. I select triangle and press confirm. The remesh process starts. And when it's done, I get a completely new poly count. If I'm satisfied with both the texture and topology, I move to the next step. Next is rigging. I open the animate tab and press the rig button at the top. This switches me into the rigging workspace. Currently Meshi supports only two character types, humanoid and quadruped. It's important that my model is an atipos or apos. I align the center line so it splits the character symmetrically and check that it faces forward. Then I place the markers, arms, legs, torso, head, following the example on the right. I press confirm and the, the rigging process starts. This step is completely free. Once it's finished, Meshi automatically adds a walk animation. 
and uh, from the library on the left I can choose any other animation and apply it into my character. Now my Android girl has a functional skeleton and can move. At uh, this point I've already completed uh, all the main processes. Created my 3D character model, added textures, optimized uh, the mesh uh, through remeshing, added rigging and even the first animation. Now my model is ready for export into any 3D software. I press download, choose the format, usually I use FBX. I leave the default settings and save the file to my computer. Then I open Blender, create a new project, go to File, Import and select my FBX. In Material Preview all the textures are visible. And by pressing the spacebar, the animation starts playing. But uh, there's an even easier way. If you click the icon on the top right corner and open Settings Preferences, you can download the free meshy add-on for Blender. Once installed, go into Add-ons inside Blender and activate it. After that, a Blender icon appears right next to the Download button in Meshi. Click it and the model open instantly in Blender, ready to work with. This makes export much simpler and let's start editing right away. So congratulations on successfully completing the process of creating your own 3D model. Honestly, this model still isn't ready for AAA level games. To reach that level you'd need to export to Blender, refine the geometry, texture in Adobe Substance 3D Painter, animate in Mixamo, bring the character into a game engine like Unreal Engine, connect a VR headset and then you could literally meet your character in the virtual world of the future. But those are topics for upcoming video. So, if you found this interesting, leave a like and subscribing to my channel wouldn't hurt either. See you in the next one.